CS on Maokai despite being up against Lady Carrie. Oh, Apollo had to flash away and he might not have enough to do. There's the stun oh, coming in. Go. That's gonna be the first blood and they're gonna give it over to a Smithy. Just like last game, the jungle gate comes in, they kill off the AD carry, just opposite side. Smithy on the echo. Rush trying to answer though. Gate baiting him in. Gives him the shield and the heal. No chance for Pro Alter now. Oh, I think he queued a minion, but Rush's gonna have enough damage. Auto attacks him down, and there we go. Despite the first blood. Impulse also up a couple hundred gold despite that first blood advantage. Yeah, I mean, literally everyone on their team has more CS than CLG, so the typical early laning phase from CLG isn't paying off like they would expect it to. All right, Zion Spartan, how much you got? There's, There's the Megan R, but there. Rush is here. Good luck, Zion Spartan. They get away from the stun. He flashes out. There's the ward hop. One more hit will do it. Rush it's flashes six. for the kill. It's six, but Smithy gets out. Oh. Rush able to and now yeah. Smithy's got to be careful. He's not level six just yet. How many minions does he need? A lot. He won't get six off this. Here comes the push on in. Impact pulls aggro. Runs away right off the bat. The shield will come in just in time to buy him some time. And now it's Adrian taking some damage from the champions. Rush still got to be careful. Hyper Ooh. comes off on him. Impact oh. is low. They've got to be careful. Where's the damage? The kick is down from Lee Sin. Misses the Q and Zion gets the kill. They knocked out Impact too. The dive does not work out. Smithy survives. Impulse too deep. They can't just take the what gank that X Smithy was able to put down onto Apollo. Oh, really man. set him back. Interesting that Smithy actually wins the duel. Cinderhawk v Cinderhawk. Yeah, I didn't see the opening to that. Saw the ending of this one. Impact taking a whole lot of damage. He's one hit away no from dead. WZ gets mature at range, but can't Q or auto attack in time to heal. Solo kill for Zion Spartan. The fight continues. Rush getting jumped on. The rocket oh comes in. Counter Logic Gaming oh ripping my. this game apart. That's a big for CLG to get cross map wins. Zion finding the solo at the same time as the rest of CLG collapsing for a great invade there. They leave behind deep wards. Yeah. They just took control. Uplift is probably sitting on a ton of gold as They're well. They're both You'd sitting on about 2,000. Yeah, about 2,500 gold actually. Flash by Devil, but they do catch up Apri, who is out of mana, which means he cannot ult out of this one. He's going to get picked up right there. Kill goes through. No, oh, Adrian gets it with Ignite. <laughs> they couldn't quite give the kill over. Double is missing his flash, though. Oh, we know what happens when this goes on. There's a smite, there's the kick, there's the Q, there's the other one, and there's the kill for Rush. Kick, punch, kick. <laughs> Didn't even have to flash or war. He is. Oh, he man. Got him. The stun lands, the flash, shockwave. Poe Belger says, thank you very much. The shield's not going to be enough. Mid lane kill comes through. Against. For the next dragon. Probably should just go over this. Whoa. Back teleporting in for the bottom lane play. Zion Spartan would have stay up there because they have caught out Aphromu and Rush just Running to the front side, he wants double lift. He's gonna get a lot of damage. This guy, there's the kick flash. There's the Q, and oh my god, over and over and over again. Rush making the plays. One of the big vulnerabilities of a Jinx is to stay with the team down at Dragon. So yeah, CLG has some room to make plays. For some big plays. They'll stun him. Fair bit of damage. They trade it back. There's the red team picking up the dragon. Now, how good is their push on a CLG? Zion Spartan still hurt being down. Oh, CLG go for the bait. Oh, they maybe. got behind on Adrian. They have it over the wall. Nothing you can do about this one. The kill picked up cleanly. Count are the damage dealers. It is four kills on the Cinder Hulk Lee Sand, who gets jumped on right now by Aphromoo. Shockwave buys even more time and rushes another kill here. Now, what can the carries do of this team? Meganar pushes him in. A big play by Zion Spartan. It's going to be cleanup crew now for Counter Logic Gaming. They want into the finals. One kill comes through. That's fine. They win another fight. They were actually careful here, knowing that they whiffed the Shockwave already. It gives a window for Team Impulse He's to get aggressive, but Megan Zion goes in anyway. Wall, goes in. They don't get the burst, but he can stun everybody. A lot of damage comes through. Victor trying to churn him down with the Chaos Storm, but it's not enough just yet. Smithy into the back line, looking for Rush. He's one hit away from killing him off. Top lane turret goes down, gets the pick on Lee Sin, ults right back out. And now Impact's got to be really careful on this. It's nice. already two kills for CLG. Uh, actually, Smithy uh, after misses the stun, and Impact helps the team pick up one for themselves. Into the back lane goes Isaac Smithy looks for a gate, gets a lot of damage in, does pick the kill up, and now what can Apollo do? He can't find Zion Spartan anymore, and it's a double kill for a double lift again. And a one for five. Joins the team. Looks like they don't need all five for this one. It's just the four going to take down Baron cleanly and quickly and all is well. Adrian can only sit back and watch, and counter logic gaming fans can find over right now. But honestly, the game may already be decided unless CLG makes a monstrous misstep. There's the inhibitor, 22 and a half minutes in. 
Every single player. Doublelift has kept his farm tremendously high this game, even though he did overstay a few times to get punished. But holistically, it's worked exceptionally well. Never finished above third place in an NALCS playoffs. They lost their last two series 3-0 to anti-3-0 someone right there. Now another oh, fight in the lane. Shockwave hits the two minutes, Shockwave. Jinx Rocket hits one, but it kills off impact, so one of the big tanks is gone, and the push can always continue. There's just not enough damage. The minion's not lead. And now inhibitor number two. Counter Logic Gaming have shattered the base in 24 minutes. Looking to savor that moment before. Here we go. Impact this is a last ditch it. effort. Here Home we go, guard impulse. Teleport. How much can they get? Who can they find? They look for Poe Belter. The damage comes in. There's the kick. There's the shutdown. Smithy's next up has to dodge away. It does not have mana to save himself. How much more can Impulse get? There's the root. There's the hit. There's the kill onto it. Smithy. It's coming down eventually. Rush gets it. That's if you just, to go in well. There's no good fight that they're going to take. You have to do it before you get flooded. Now, yeah, three hits and Baron is no chance of winning at all. 10% is better than zero. Yeah. Impulse did not go for the 10%. There's the engage, a two-man knockout with no turrets really left. Here's the backline access. How much can they kill? Impact buying a lot of time, but there's the shockwave. It's a doozy. Two kills picked up already, and it's time for the slaughter. CLG, another knockup. There's a double kill there for two members. This is going to be the game. The 3-0 sweep. Counter Logic Gaming finally get a good season. They're headed to the finals, and CLG are one best of five away from the world championship that has to feel so good for CLG after the entire season after the losing streak they had in the middle of the split after not winning the tiebreaker game to get the number one seed but all in all this has been their best split by regular season finish with second place and now guaranteed to be their best split because they are in the finals in Madison Square Garden next week what is a CLG? They haven't even lost a playoff game yet. There was one streak of four losses. That was the only time CLG fans could have lost hope this split. Four games, in the middle of the split. That was it. CLG looking very good in this lineup. Yep. Now we just have to determine who will be facing them in Madison Square Garden. We'll find out tomorrow with TSM versus Team Liquid.